Do not worry. Well, howdy, everybody. Happy 420. Welcome to a brand new episode of Do Not Worry on this lovely Thursday. 20th of April, a special occasion for people all around the world. How's everybody doing? Good. Hey. All good. Oh, one or two. I'm not like it. I'm not خايفين نحكي. Yeah. نحكي بالorder نور نادين برجع. Skip to أحسن شيء. How's how about that? Thanks. Okay. I'm not mad. Guys, we have all the interns here uh, together for the first time, <laughs> and maybe probably the last time. We have. I have an extra microphone. Yeah. Inshallah, Nadim, سمع صوتك. مام. إيه تحت كمان. أسمع. Hey, don't touch it. Hey. <laughs> Don't sure. be touching it. <laughs> Take a second to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, become a Do Not Warrior, help us get to the 10,000 subscriber mark, uh, and consider supporting us on Patreon, folks. Uh, by the way, we've got like six new patrons this week. God bless you. We love you guys. Uh, let's start thanking them. Marianne S. As a blonde patron, Mustafa Kalu. As a blonde patron, Miss Blacksmith. Also a blonde. Julien Malouf and Saumon Fumé, both blonde patrons. Welcome to our Patreon, you beautiful, beautiful human beings. And the brand new abductee patron, Sherib uh, El Welcome to all six of you, to the family. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting us. This is why we can have the interns here. So thank you. If you guys would like to support our channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. This show could not exist without our patrons. And I'm going to be doing a Patreon Zoom call uh, this Monday, April 24th at 8 o'clock Lebanon time. I'm going to post this on Instagram. It's going to be posted on Patreon, so don't worry. But I'm telling you now, why aren't you telling us? Monday, April 24th at 8 o'clock, we're doing a Patreon phone call. Zoom call, okay? Everybody's welcome. This week on the podcast, folks, we found the world's worst personal trainer. Who the hell is Cynthia Basbous? Uh, we have an important Joy Tassidi's update uh, and we're tasting Z Cola, the famous Z Cola. Nadim got us some cans and a lot more. Okay, we're talking about we got a lot more stuff. Andrew Tate's origin story. Uh, we got the youngest the chef in Lebanon. Some crazy, crazy stuff. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, last week we started the episode. I was reading some negative comments that we got. A lot of you guys in the comments were like, Anthony, read more negative comments. We did get one negative comment this week. Hello, I've, again, I've deleted it and blocked the person off the channel, <laughs> but not before replying. I did reply, I gave him a chance to read it, reply, then I blocked him. Hick, at least he got to read my comment. Uh, here is what he had to say. What's his name? Ashraf Hassan. Ashraf Hassan. He said, what the fuck? Second in Lebanon, bullying a podcaster when your numbers are shit after 240 videos. If it didn't happen after all those 240 tries, it's not happening ever. Laughing emoji. Now, clearly this person is really idiot, stupid because A, he can't write or spell. Secondly, again, I never said, we're, like, we're joking when we say we're second, bro. Hey, the mesha, it's a joke. We're being sarcastic. You know what I'm saying? It's a joke. Yeah, it's 240 videos. 240 videos, fee clips, fee shorts, fee asas random, bro. We're at 94 episodes. So I literally, I told him that uh, I owe his mom $10 uh, for the sex that we had. You dumb hoe. No, your mom's not the hoe. You're the dumb hoe. Then, then he replied, he's like, that's so immature, lol. You said, it is super immature. Then I told him that I couldn't read his comment because I was too busy uh, shoving my <laughs> down your mom's <laughs> throat. <laughs> you piece of <laughs> bleep those out. Listen, no, you know. Bye, Ashraf. Uh, <laughs> probably, Yanni. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, probably. my joke about fucking the mom, Yanni, wasn't all that mature. So I don't know what to tell these people anymore. And I didn't just want to block them. I'm like, come on. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly, I guess. you know. Best, you know. Cat updates as well. Everybody got a lot of comments asking about the cat. How's the cat doing? Folks, the cat's doing better. He's doing a lot better. He's been eating again. I think I think I figured it out, man. All these tests, all this stress. Yesterday, I get home and I found a hairball, literally the size of a, of a human piece of shit. <laughs> it was like 10 centimeters long. Literally, it was the longest. I've had my cat for six years, almost seven years. He pukes hairball very often. I've never seen one close to the size of this one. I'm thinking this thing was fucking like in his stomach. That's crazy. Accumulating for so long. I, like I thought we ruled out the hairball option because like a week ago he puked out a, like a hairball that was about that big. So I figured that was all that was in his system. Turns out I think he's been having this behemoth just building and accumulating and it grew and it grew until he fucking barfed it out yesterday. And he's been eating more over the weekend. He's been eating more yesterday. He's eating, he's more energetic. He's hopping around. So. Is he eating his dry food? No, but now he's eating wet food. At least he's eating. I'm happy. Like, eat whatever the fuck you want, bro. Let's just eat. 
He's gaining weight again, so I think it's going better. So fingers crossed. Habib El Bilio. Leopold, get over here, little shit. I was I was reading about it, Min Shio Min. Turns out some cats go on a hunger strike as a as a bazza home nal al akal. So like turns yeah, yeah. out you have to spice up their food sometimes. That's Jeez. what and that's what my doctor told me. You know, it is it is psychological. It's like uh, he's just being very picky uh, and I think that's what it was, and at, at the end Katam Tami tuna for like three days just for him to eat something. And he his dream came true. He ate his favorite food for three days, but now you're back to eating shit. All right, <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Uh, folks, uh, I've brought some refreshments for the interns. D try these drinks. Let me know what you guys think about these. Uh, we'll, uh, we may or may not have something to talk about next week, but for now, just let me know if you guys approve of these. What do you think of this of this beverage? This here libation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Mm. Good mm. shit. You guys like this drink? Very nice. You guys like it? Yeah. You into that drink? Mm -hmm. yeah. Folks, tune in next week to find out what we're talking about. <laughs> Cheers. How you or may not be able to join us in tasting this fine libation, this fine drink over here, this refreshment. Mm, it's very good, actually. It's so good. Hey, we're going to be drinking a lot of things. We have this drink. We're going to be pissing quite a bit today. <laughs> Cheers. Taibe, taibe, wala. Like I said, tune in next week. Um, anyways, folks, every week we've been talking about other Lebanese podcasts. What's our ranking? Last week I decided we're ranked number two. I know the executive decision. We're the number two podcast we live in. Well, we might be clearing out that space for someone else because do not worry, might be ending in just a few months, folks. I haven't told you guys two? yet. Andre? Folks, I might have to move back to the States. Uh, unless I find a job in the next few months to keep me here in Lebanon, there's no reason for me to stay. Now, this podcast is all I have left. I this unboxing, to be honest with you. There's nothing I look forward to more than boxing every week. <laughs> that's, yeah, between the podcast and boxing, that's all I kind of have going on right now. When I left my job a year ago, I've been working in reality television for four years. Quit my job a year ago to pursue screenwriting. Screenwriting has been amazing. It's been fulfilling. It's been fun. I've learned. It's been interesting. But screenwriting does not pay the bills. I've learned the hard way, folks. <laughs> a year of screenwriting... Uh, so I gotta, I gotta find something else to do. And so you guys, you all work uh, full-time jobs, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you guys hiring? You guys looking for, you guys looking for uh, employee? What do you do? Like, but Salah is about the advertising agency. No, no, I'm not. What do you shoot time in? I work in an advertising agency. What do you? What's your position? I'm a senior marketing executive. Hey, what senior? What are you shoot time? I'm a senior editor or freelancer. So man, like all senior, what are you shoot time? I'm a senior graphic. No, I'm just a graphic designer. Man, you senior, weren't you? No, I'm a project manager. Project manager, so man, how old are you? I'm 21. 21, what are you? 22. What are you? I said 25. I said, you deserve it. They deserve to be a senior. Into heke, senior. Yeah. I was a junior up until like three years ago on a bad, and then I was like <laughs> 29. Tabiya las alu is about on content creator. I'm a content guru, podcast, doctor podcast. Hadan samena. I'm a doctor podcast. I took it. We made a podcast, folks, about. I'm not many. I'm on TikTok. Bill English. We made it into the, the number two podcast, I'm a, I have produced 94 episodes. Like, we need a lot of voiceovers, like you'd make a perfect fit. Voiceovers, yeah, hey, that's a super easy. Hey, folks, sponsors, guys, we have, by the way, we have an amazing sponsorship. Viewers. We've been teasing it next week. We're launching an awesome sponsorship. We already, and I made it, we already, we secured another amazing sponsor months ago. We've just been waiting for something that they've been working on, Taikhlas. So that's going to be announced, Kamena, within the next, like, couple of weeks, I would say. But yalla, yeah, you guys want me to stay in Lebanon? You want this podcast to stay here? Uh, find me a job. Find me something <laughs> to do. I don't want to apply. I don't want to send any resumes. I fucking hate applying for jobs. Your channel, resume. This is my resume, folks. Khalas, shifto, shifto what I do. You know who I am. You know how many enemies. I think you to hire me, bro. I've made enemies everywhere. Even like radio. Everyone tells me I could be a great radio You'd host. make an amazing Virgin radio, radio won't ever hire me because I talked about them like a year ago. Everybody there hates me. La la, Virgin Radio proof him wrong. I can't even, I can't even, yani, khalas, let's move on to the next topic. Khalas. Anna Mayusha, folks. Remember Mayusha? <coughs> the lovely Mayusha, dollar store shru, the wife of CAK. <laughs> dollar store shru? <laughs> Mayu CAK, so a dollar store shru. <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, this is copyright galore, so we're going to play like just the first five seconds and that's enough because it's more than enough. Uh, this is uh, Maya Name or oh. Mayusha, the no. wife of CAK. Oh my god. I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. Life is plastic. It's been First, she said life is plastic. 
she's supposed to say life in plastic. Life in plastic <laughs> it's fantastic. Stuff. She just said life is plastic. Oh, Let's, we can play a couple more seconds of this. I feel better made a copyright. Fantastic. You can brush my hair and dress me everywhere. In oh, my bad, my bad. This is so <laughs> bad. Yeah, <laughs> damn, this, is, this sounds so shitty. Yeah. I think if we play another three seconds, we're fine. Is I'm the lab and the I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's hear a little bit more. Imagination. Life is your creation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Oi. Oi. Let's. But someone had an Arabic twist. Maybe the Arabic twist uh, is pretty nice. Let's give it another three seconds. Big Shru could never do this. Shru in a million years, Mafia Tani Chihik. I'm a ma ma ya nami. She is the superior. I'm a ma ya. We have to pick sides. No. I'm a ma ya. She's not like me. It's her facial expressions. It's all horrible. It's all horrible. I'm not taking my. How old is she? Like late thirties. Are you being ageist right now? Is it older <laughs> women? Right? I am being ageist. Oh my god! And who is who is? Min min bedhalen ki Madonna. Madonna. Ageism. Min hala shaba adi amra. Wow. You're keeping this in. Machila hai hala. Ageism and no, regarding being sexy, this is being childish. You know, she's acting like a 12 year old. Bro, look. And I have an issue with look that. Look at my set and how it's decorated. Mahas, We're talking mahas, about act no, you're being like a. Like a Barbie, my, my Barbie's a toy, bro. At my end, this is. That's not the problem. This the problem is, is she can't sing for shit, and the song sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I'm not Zahma. You should. I think she was in Star Academy. She, she was. Uh, she was a coach. La la, can it like a contestant? Ah, she was a contestant. Come on, Jack, take casters. Okay. La be what? She was the shit. Yeah, and she was very cool. Uh, Andrew Tate, folks. I know ah. there's nothing interesting to talk about Andrew Tate anymore. Plus, honestly, it's gotten kind of boring. The only thing is like his yeah. tweets are fun sometimes. Best last week, he basically tweeted out his villain origin story. We now know <laughs> why Andrew Tate is the way he is. We're gonna read it. Bear with me. You guys mind if I read this? I'm gonna go Please. through this. Yeah, this is gonna Anjad and open our eyes to why he is. The, is any of this true? I don't know. A lot of it seems tr fabricated conveniently. Most likely. Uh, let's start. I, can, I, can, I don't do great, Andrew Tate, I'll try. Try, try. A Bugatti. A Bugatti. <laughs> top G. Top G. I have to get the cadence. Uh, I was raised by a single mother in England. I wouldn't call my mother particularly nice or soft. In fact, my mother was mean and hard. I usually saw my dad about once a year when he would visit, and I remember one time they had a massive argument. That parents was fighting, parents fighting. Okay. okay. I was about 13. <laughs> dad had come to visit. The day before he arrived, mom took me to get a haircut at a place I didn't normally go. They cut it differently. Mom didn't like it. It was the first time I had seen dad in a year, who was sitting in the living room. I don't like how they cut your hair, Andrew. <laughs> I was a kid. My mother told me my hair was shit. Where else am I going to reply? Me? Me neither. Mum. Yes, we won't go there again. <laughs> Me. Can we go to the normal place next time? Dad stands up from the couch. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Dad lost his mind. What the fuck is wrong with you, woman? You're raising my son to be a bitch? Crying about his haircut? This is the kind of man you're raising when I'm not around? Mum started screaming back, calling Dad crazy and telling him to leave the house. My dad was a zero to hundred kind of guy. From silence to screaming out of nowhere. Now mom's crying and tells dad to get out of the house or she's calling the police. Dad leaves. One hour into seeing him first time in a year. So far it's pretty fucking intense. A family reunion. Yeah. Mom. Your dad is crazy. It's only a haircut. See why I can't be around your dad anymore? Next day dad calls the house and tells me to go to the hotel he's staying at. I go. We play chess. Ooh, such a boss playing chess with your dad. I keep that, that's a fucking sure. lie right there. Hey, Doug, but kiss me, Dijal. Your mother does the best she can, but she's still a female, he said. <laughs> I didn't reply. Females fucking around with haircuts. You won't be raised into a little bitch, he said. We left the hotel and he marched me to a barber shop where he paid to have my head shaved. I protested. Why? Don't know. Was a kid. But I feared my dad as if he was God himself. So far, uh, like it's wallah, like father, like son. It's fucked up. Bro. Yeah, no. So far, it's making sense. I sat in the chair, holding back tears as my head was shaved. Afterwards, Dad said, "Your mother loves you, and I love you. Nobody in the world gives a fuck about your haircut. When you grow up, you'll see. They only care about they only care about what kind of man you are." I went home. Mum went nuts. <laughs> I heard them on the phone. Mum. You're fucking crazy, Emery. Why did you do that? It's only a fucking haircut. I don't want to see you ever again. Fuck off back to America. 
And that's what dad did. He left England. My mother complained about how crazy dad is and how impossible it is to even speak around him without him losing his temper and going crazy. Forcing Andrew to shave his head became a story mother would tell of how insane my dad was for years to come. But guess what? He was totally right. I look back now and thank him. What good comes from a 13-year-old boy giving a fuck about his haircut? Zero. My mother's intentions were pure, but she's a female. This is very normal female behavior. Son with his cute haircut, but it's unimportant. Two years ago, I walked into a new barber shop and they said, how do you want your hair cut? It reminded me of this story and I told them to shave it all off. Nobody gives a fuck about my hair. They care what kind of man I am. R.I.P. Emery Tate. That's the story. First, first before anyone says anything, if, if this were true, I don't think Andrew so. Tate got a hair transplant a few years ago. Zayda Ashad. If you really didn't give a fuck about your hair and you didn't care about being bald, why would you try to tizzit Ashad? Hey, did, oh. secondly, convenient for a bald guy to talk about shaving his head. Like, you're bald, bro. Shuamilit. You know what I mean? Go tell the guy with a beautiful full head of hair to shave his head. It's not going to be the same thing. Anyways, the guy's clearly psycho. And if this is a true story, it makes a lot of sense. He had a shitty dad who didn't respect women, kept referring to them as fe- stupid bitch females or whatever females. the fuck. Your mom's just a dumb, emotional female. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, yeah, and sure. Now you see that I'm the alpha. Yeah, that comes from this. If, if this story was in fact true, he took like all the wrong things from it. <laughs> <laughs> what was his dad trying to teach him? It makes no sense. Like, he's a little boy, bro. Haircuts are important when you're in high school, bro. You want to look cool in front of like girls and stuff or whatever. Yeah, yeah it's a <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Moving on from trains. Last week we talked about uh, Harry Potter, the Harry Potter uh, reboot. They're remaking the movies into series. Every book is going to become a full season of the show. They're going to recast. We're starting from scratch. Well, they officially announced it on Twitter by sharing this post, which drove people, which drove me crazy. And they're like, the official logo for the live-action Harry Potter series. The decade-long adaptation will feature an all-new cast. Max Original presents Harry Potter. If you notice, this is the exact same motherfucking logo. <laughs> from the old movies. Here's the old logo. Here's the new one. I know what you guys are going to say. But Anthony, that's the same logo that's on the book covers. Sure. Okay, but you're trying to make a statement. And you're trying to be like, we're relaunching, we're rebooting. You hit them with a new logo. You don't hit them with the same fucking logo. And this is the same exact Hogwarts from the Harry Potter movies. And they, they showed a little video clip. We can't show it because of copyright. But they also play the Harry Potter music. The dun, 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 they have all classics. Dun. But I exactly. don't think you can get rid of them. But it's, so, it's so iconic. It's so iconic. This is just making me, again, rethink like this is so stupid. Like, everything. My, the movies were such a perfect adaptation of those books. Yeah. How are they going to make Hogwarts look like now? They have to change it just to say that they changed it. They have to come up with a new theme, even though this theme is iconic. The sorting hat was already perfect. They have to make a new sorting hat and change the way it looks just for fucks, just for no, ma- shits and giggles. Obviously, I know they're not changing I know the logo is the same, the music is the same. Like so they don't have to change all the iconic they're gonna, stuff. So, so, so a couple of the, after people complained, one of the producers, one of the guys from HBO Max, came out to say this. He's saying that this was just temporary. They are going to change the logo. They're going to redo everything. But this was just to announce it because they're still very, very early in like pre-production. Bad man, don't she? So she's like, we were so excited to have that franchise come back. It's really, on, it's really entertained so many of us in the last 20 years. It's so early on, honestly, that I don't want to mislead you one way or the other. He explained, we're just starting on the journey of what the content will look like, how it will be produced and shot. And obviously, the marketing point is intended to reflect the actual content. So what we showed on the screen was just an illustration of the history and richness of that and is not necessarily an illustration of what we plan to market and how we plan to market the new content. So in other words, they have nothing to show yet, and this was just a way to get subscribers excited about what they can expect from the Harry Potter franchise on Max, etc., etc. And I don't think so. I don't think I know they will ever change anything iconic. They would just amplify it. Then as a fishy and I and the They're gonna have to change it. Yeah, and Hogwarts they won't change it. Lana, it's iconic. Metal logo, metal music. Yes, you I can. Know, you, you can't have the same looking Hogwarts with a new bunch. Of, like, it, it, my, in my opinion, why not? It's Hogwarts. But it's a different Hogwarts. It's a different universe. It's a different cast. You can't just recreate the old sets. My, it's weird. Just 
It's not okay. because it's based off off of the books, yeah, and they're gonna follow the, the they're gonna follow the descriptions of the books, but it's not gonna be and it. Hagrid's gonna be different. Snape, everything is gonna be different. You know, they're yeah, redoing I, it. Uh, I think. So I just find it again. I just think they should have kept every the same universe. They should have gone like 500 years in the past. You follow a new group of kids. They're going into Hogwarts or, or 20 years in the future. Forget about Harry Potter's being an adult doing his whatever shit on the side. And you get a new group of kids getting into Hogwarts, man. And what, what are their adventures? That story has been fucking told. It was told so perfectly. Yeah, and Snape, who are they going to cast that will ever reach the heights of Alan Rickman? Hagrid, uh, Professor Dumbledore, Professor McGonagall. Like everything, everything is just so perfect. The long bottoms, like Neville Longbottom. All the fuck these fucking the Dudleys. Like my body, it's just so stupid, man. With the, f with the fact that they announced it using the just it goes to show you, Yanni. Like they they have to rely on what people love to 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 try to convince us that this is a good idea. But I don't know. I know, I know. I'm excited about it. I know. I, I can't relate. Super not. I'm super excited to not watch this. To be honest. Like, Plus, to be yeah, honest, I like Lich. It's like I think it might end up going, you know, doing really well, and people eventually get bored of rewatching the same thing they like. Fala, this is a, a newer version. My only of thing the is thing they like. maybe because the first movie is like 20 years old. Like the rest, like the last movie is only like 10, 11 years old. Mm. But you know, the first couple, but you know, I don't know if they hold up. But but maybe like, I'm just a grandpa. Alo, Go for 10 years, the show. So, like, yeah, when we get to the end, we can start with 20 years, I don't. And to be completely honest with you guys, I really don't care that much because the older I got, the less I care about Harry Potter. Like, I, 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 don't, I won't watch it. I haven't rewatched them. I haven't rewatched the movies. And so, I, used to, I used to watch the Harry Potter movies, like, annually when I was younger. Like, every year I would sit and, like, binge all of them. I haven't really sat down to rewatch them. I've only watched part seven and eight, the last two, once in my life in the cinema. I never rewatched them at home. I really kind of stopped caring about this franchise and the, the <laughs> shitty Fantastic Beasts movies did nothing to help. Like, hatta the video game. <sighs> I don't even really want to play it, man. Like, I mean, the discourse around it, like, I think I am kind of too old for Harry Potter. Maybe you can this will like you rejuvenate. Do, my, I feel weird as at like 30, being a 30, I'll be like 33, 34 when season one comes out. Like, do I want to watch a bunch of like 10 year old kids running around like, and when Guardian <laughs> Leviosa? I'm like, I, I don't think I have to watch <laughs> that, you know? Evada <laughs> Kedavra. Hey. I heard, I uh, know, like the actor that played uh, Draco, I heard, I uh, know he's going to play uh, Lucius Malfoy, like Draco's father. See, they're gonna try to drag in the old actors. I'm gonna enjoy. But it's cool. I'm, I, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna watch this fucking show. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm too old. I'm too old. I'm too old. To be honest, I'm too old for this shit. Harry Potter is kind of like lame. I love Harry. I went to. Eh. I read all the books. I went to Halloween once, disguised as Harry Potter. I used to love Harry Potter, but now, as an old, as a grown man, shit's kind of lame. Magic and wands. That's so lame. Thank you. It's stupid. Maybe I like to hate on to get my first one. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I know all, I know all the terms and references. I've, I've read the fucking books. Mishalas. Shit, get over it, nerds. <laughs> okay, folks, Dr. Food, we got to talk about just a couple of things. Uh Darwish recently I thought he reviewed his stuff in Zamain, but Salah Darwish recently I made comparison being a Dr. Food wafer town Well, He kind of shat on it. That's what that's what surprised me. <laughs> خليكم على الهيزل نوت والملك والولاد تشتري الويفرز تبعكم لانه هول الويفرز تبعكم اذا بتنحط قدام ناس بتفهم بالتشوكلت وبطعم التمة ما بتشتري ساندويتش والدكتور فود الكل ناطر نقارن بيناتهم هيدا الساندويتش هيدا الدكتور فود اللي بده يقارن بيقارن بالدارك تيعرف الفرق بالنسبة للباكجينج الديزاين تبع الساندويتش ملفت اكثر على الرف بيناتهم كثير بشيء اكسبايري ديت تبعه محطوطه بمحل صعب كثير نقدر نشوفها ساندويتش كمان 50 جرام وليكو الاكسبايري ديت تبعه محطوطه بمحل كثير واضحه على الزبون 51 جرام طلعوا بالشكل هون انا معي واحد ثاني فكرت انه انكسر انا وعم بفتحه طلع حتى الثاني ليكو كيف عم يطلع من قلب الكيس انا كمان يا دكتور انا كمان 49 جرام هيدا الفرق بالحجم بس نفس الجراماج تقريبا دكتور فود طلع 51 جرام ساندويتش طلع 49 جرام هلا بدي ادوق واعطي رايي بكل صراحه بالطعمه وما بدي حدا ياخذها شخصيه هيدا مجرد كونستراكتيف كريتيسيزم تكون صريح معكم لا عايز فيورز ولا عم نبش على فيورز ولا فولورز من ورا هول 
قد ما لبنان صغير وقد ما كله like نحن we just talk about people we talk shit هون 200 disclaimers صار انا نحن ما هيدا كريتيك كونستراكتيف ما حدا يزعل ما حدا يخدع خلص برو جو سول مننا طيبه صار مش عارف شو يضربك دكتور فود اثنين براند قررت ما انزل ولا واحد منهم بدكم تعرفوا ليه؟ لانه اثنيناتهم دكتور فود عمل تراند بالهيزل نوت وبالملك تشوكلت للاولاد برافو عليه مخيفه والويفرز تبعه كثير الاولاد حبوهم ساندويتش هلا صار مطلوب لانه الناس عم تنبش تشوف اي هو اطيب هو ولا الدكتور فود برايي الشخصي اثنيناتهم ما نجحوا اتليست بالدارك بلاك از ذا دارك ون واز ذا تيستيست ون اي دونت نو ذس از ويرد فيديو اي ثينك هي جوست ميبي تخين امام هي جوست وونتس تو دو سمثينغ فور اي ام بريتي شيرز شيدينغ ام شيرز بس اي ذي ديد ذي هاد ذا فيديو توجذر وير ضرب ضرب له راسه للدرويش درويش انت بتحكي على دكتور فود ويفر هي هيتس ام وذ ذا ثينغ Uh, well then there's another thing the doctor food wafer we talked about it last time the, the calorie count is all wrong like the calorie count is like three times what's on the packaging the packaging says each bar is like 70 calories or something it's actually like mitin wow. ushi of na- course na- na- we still have the old edition of the doctor food wafer yalli mafio nutrition facts we don't have nutrition facts these are now collectible because you cannot find these as- <laughs> <laughs> sell them on ebay <laughs> hey one day someday <laughs> If I don't find a job, uh, <laughs> I have to sell some Dr. Food wafers. Uh, <laughs> mean? Uh, you mean? So, hey, the, let's, uh, this is a day, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's, we're going to watch the first minute. Yeah, Dr. Food, للأسف, I'm going to talk to you about the world. I'm going to talk to you about the clients. I'm a personal trainer and clinical dietitian. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to take 150 calories on the snack. And I'm going to take two Dr. Food wafers. لانه الويفر الواحد حسب النيوتريشن فاكتس اللي هون في بقلبهم 71 كالوري بروز بن ايتينج تو اوف ذيز ماذر فاكرز قلت له اوكي نزلت عم شوف الكم كالوري فيه عن جد مزبوط مكتوب على الويفر من ورا 71 كالوري لكل 50 جرام بس بنفس الوقت محطوط قديش في قديش في فاتس وقديش في كاربس انا بلشت احسب الكالوريز موجودين بالفاتس وبالكاربس الرقم ما طلع قريب حتى لل 71 كالوري اللي حضرتك حاططها. النيوتريشن فاكس محطوطين بشكل كثير صغير. رح اعمل زوم، رح نشوف هلا قديش ورح نعمل الحسابات ونشوف عن جد كم كالوري فيه دكتور فود ويفر. مثل ما شايفين هون مزبوط 71 كالوري لكل بار. الفات فيها 13 جرام فات. والكربوهيدرات النشويات في بقلبهم 30 جرام نشويات بس كرمال اذا حدا عم بيقول اذا هيدا عن جد دكتور فود خلينا بس اعمل زوم اوت برو صدقناك وحيط الله صدقناك يو نيد تو زوم اوت وهيدا حياتك صدقتك يلا 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 خلصنا بس داز نوت نيد تو بي 3 مينتس 13 جرام فاتس هي 13 جرام كل جرام في بقلبه 9 كالوري يعني 117 كالوري بس من الفات It's already double almost. 30 جرام من نشويات، كل جرام نشويات في بقربه 4 كالوري بيطلعوا 120 120 زائد 117 اللي هن الكالوري تبعوا الفاتحة برو 237 كالوري بالعالم بقلب دكتور فود ويفر اكيد تواصلت مع الكلاينت قلت له في بقلب الويفر الواحد 237 كالوري قال لي يعني انا عم باخذ 500 كالوري على السناك الوحده يا دكتور فود حلوه السكينه برو اذا ضحك على العالم 3 تايمز ما لازم تعمل هيك كرمال تسوق لمنتجاتك انت حر ان شاء الله تحط 1000 كالوري ان شاء الله يكون 50 كالوري الويفر الواحد ممنوع تسوق لمنتجاتك بشكل خاطئ 71 كالوري من وين جبتهم؟ كيف حسبتهم؟ مين اللي حسب لك اياهم اساسا؟ للاسف حارجع عيدها ازن ذات ايليجل؟ بلبنان ما لها بلبنان لا برا اكيد مان ليك انه ذا كاب براند وها اه ذاتس رايت ذا كاب براند برو ذيس از فاملو كولاب دكتور فود و ذا كاب براند ليتس نوت ليتس نوت نيم ذير ذير هايلي ليتيجيس اليجلي 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 شو عن انا هيك الزلمه شو صار فيها العم يقرط 500 كالوري على كل سناك كل يوم برو وانت كمان ليه بعدين هو ما لقى الا دكتور فود بسط كل شيء عنده بسط شبعت هي فاوند ذا لوب هول تاكل اثنين مش بوز قد ايه 1000 كالوريز بالنهار؟ طب جيتين فاتر افري دايز مش عم مش عم بيصير حاضرين هاف يو سين وات ذا فاك از ات كولد مين جيرلز وين ذي ريبليس وين لينزي لوهان هاف يو جايز سين مين جيرلز اولا؟ لا لا اي نو ات لينزي لوهان ريبليس سبرينا اي فورغوت هير نيم ريجينا هير هير دايت بارز وذ لايك وذ ويت جيم بارز كيف كنت عم تاكل بارز واي ماي واي ماي جيتين فاتر؟ ذس از اكزاكتلي واتس هابينينغ 
Anyways, okay. بس كمان there's a new product هلا بده يكذب عليه دكتور فود which is a chocolate spread دكتور نوتيلا هازل نات سبريد وعمل هلا تشورس رح نشوف رح يعملوا تشورس والهازل نات سبريد تنشوف تعالوا نرجيكم كيف بنعملها كمل بكت على الغاز ضيف عليها نص قالب زبده ملعقتين سكر بعد ما المزيج غلي انا بنضيف عليهم كبايه طحين بدكم تحركوا المزيج ليكمش مع بعض ويبطل المغربل مبرغى مبرغى وقت تصير العجينه بهالطريقه بتشيلوها وبتلاقوها خمس دقائق ونضيف البيض على اي هيت هيم بكون اطلس مثل هيدا شو قال ولا بدنا نقليه اي هيت هيم لتشورس انا عملته نرفع بهالطريقه لتشورس انه الشوكليت هزلنا نتس عليهم سكر قرفه لتشورس نضبطهم مع السكر والقرفه ماش كبران شو يعني تشورس؟ تشورس بدنا نزيد عليهم الشوكليت هزلنا هذا الشوكليت في بقلبه 11% هزلنا اما البقوي الاهم هو هيدا اللوجو خلص دكتور فود هيدا اللوجو انت عم تعمل هيك شيله هيدا اللوجو انت عم تعمل هيك اوفر اوفر خلص ديد يو سبيل اون اني اوف ذا My favorite video of today, I think, folks, is Safa DVD. I'm doing Harid Jadid on PlayStation. Let's see what's going on. Nee, mas taatoule. كل العالم يعمل العروضات على PS5. بس مثل خيكون الصفا ما حدا بيقدر يعمل. وقرب العام. أرد عن خيكون الصفا. بلش عدنا. PS5 كفيل عسنا. ثلاث سديات واحد. نعم. ثلاثة. ثلاث سديات. نعم. ماسك. الكاميرا واو وغطى يا الا وخي الصف هيدا العرض بقداش 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 بس ب 715 دولار بس اكسبنسيف اوسع العالم بتحيي لخي الصف وشهر رمضان كريم مع الجميع باي كيف اكسبنسيف عم يطلع لك ثلاث سيديات عم يطلع لك منات كفر للمنات بيخوف 15 دولارز مور ذان هون ب 700 بدك لا 500 رخصه مين عم يبيع ب 500 بلاي ستيشن؟ اسفه كلام بعطيك رقمه 560 الجديده ما بحس ومع لعبه الجاد اوف وور باندل ما بدي جاد اوف وور ومع مع كفاله؟ اكيد سنه من عند فتال؟ ما في كلهم فتال ما في غيره ما بعرف بخوفنا هيدا بس لا انا اي دونت فايند ذس فاني بيزعجني هيك كونتنت اه انه اتس هوربل اوف كورس اه اتس هورندس نديم بقول لك انا كيب هاب سنس اوف هيومر از فلود طيب ليتس جيت Better content, stuff that you will <laughs> definitely <laughs> make. <laughs> Anna Holi, I love these. Well, how did you, this is so good. Hol Hol, it's not on my feed, very casual. What is this one? Rami, Ramiana? Ramiana. Ramiana. I don't know what the fuck this is. It's just weird ass songs. If you're listening with headphones, I'm giving you a warning, Mahalla. Take off the headphones or lower the volume. You've been warned. <laughs> What? Yeah, dude, I don't know what the fuck this is, but I love it. It's so good. I'm sure the video. No, I bought that on the shmeliye. Shmeliye. Hey, the crunchy. What? Dude, this is so weird, but I love them. I love these. Hey, the shoe. They're cursed. لا تنسي الجالي تلبس مكياجي زوجك غالي جاب لك مصاري. What? This is yeah, it's so cursed. The house it's like owned by like kids or ten year olds. But it's 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 like most probably. It's like those weird Spider-Man Elsa things on YouTube. Like شو عم يستعملوا Sims تعملوا الانيميشن. هو حتى بتصير كلمات في منها جوجا راجير يعني هيدي هيدي مصروف في العيد يا مرتي الحلوه شوشا يا مرتي الحلوه شوشا جبت لك مصاري مصاري العيد انا سعيد ما في ما في شو شو 
bro. There's two more. <laughs> Mjadra, this one's called Mjadra. It's gotta be something good about it, you know what I mean? Hello, the ones with the guys are less funny. <laughs> I just like how she says Mjadda. Like that, like I wish anytime I got a text message, you'd just be like, <laughs> One more, Mluchiyya. <laughs> Elijah hates his life. Holy be'iyya, Elijah, not going to be able to do it. Mluchiyya, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. These are my, the short ones. These are nicer favorite. than the ones with the guy. <laughs> the short ones, yeah, but one more time. Batata me'iyya, Ablil. One for the road. <laughs> Batata me'li you shy with a horrible combination, Aslan. Nothing makes, nothing makes sense. <laughs> uh, we possibly found the greatest child labor account so far. Now you know we had the award for best child labor, but do not worry awards. Hey, the matam ismo spantino. Casero. Uh, there's this little boy who's the chef allegedly of the restaurant. <laughs> Hello, you never see him in the kitchen, but uh, here he is. ورجعنا لكم بفيديو جديد هاي انا الشيف هادي واليوم بدي لكم عن الاسبي صوص هو سويت وهني سبيشال صوص اسبونتينو دي شادي ما تنسوا تجوا تجربوهم وتقولوا لي رايكم اي لاف كيف ياكل بي استو فرنتيف اتس اول هي هاز اول ذا تيز فيل اوت بروبابلي انا بحب الاخر بس يوم هيك بكل فيديو مثل ما شفتوا اخر مره عملنا البيف برجر اليوم بدنا نعمل الفيلي برجر يلا تعالوا معي أول شيء معنا البان بنحط المايونيز بس غريب ليه ما بيخلوه يفوت على المطبخ ليش؟ I guess he's not the chef نرجع بنحط الخس He's always sitting شفت التوريال المايونيز بالخس هلا حرامي سو كيوت بس إز دور جو أنت بتعرف تعمله هيدا وهو عم يعمله بنحطه مع بعض He's kind of just assembling he might be at the burger he's just you know putting the parts together Wow like a burger mafia cheddar barbecue It feels refreshing to see that بس no إس بونتينو بس he's adorable very 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 adorable He's so cute Cute little boy it's smart of them to make him the mascot يعني بس إنه هيدا what they see عمره 18 he won't be as cute تعال عنه سبونتينو <laughs> and a chef had you. <laughs> it's not, yeah, it's not gonna be nearly as cute. Is age even when he turns 13, it's gonna become bad. Yeah, I'm sure. No, don't even wait till 18. See, it's a ill wuzu. Hala, after that, I'm gonna be a hundred years old. You're gonna become an asshole. Hi, I'm a chef. Hadi, last time we did a cheese fries, and today we're gonna do a cheese appetizer. We're gonna do six and one juice. Yalla, come on. One juice. He moves like an old man, though. We're gonna do six. 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 We're gonna He's adorable. Yeah, I love his tooty. What's the budget? 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 Oh, la anjad, anjad. Spantino, Leo. Who is she? Ah, Spantino, the chef. Is that is that his mom? هاد اصغر واهدم شيف ممكن تلاقوه فيه جيت اليوم خصيصا لعنده بصيدا بسبونتينو وانا حضر لي قصص انا عملت لك بروستد كريسبي وبرجر تعبين البروستد انت كبير تعال نجرب البروستد تعال نجرب البروستد هيز سو هيز ارز جرب البروستد اه مصدقين هادي كمان الجيز لونه ابيض جوسي شو يعني لونه ابيض؟ بتعمل رهيبة الكريسبي ملتوطة بطحين وحجمها كمان كبير بس ذي لوك جريت بس ذي لوك جريت زنجر في بقلبة قطعة زنجر مع تشادر مع خس سمبل انجريدينتس وحرة ضيافة المحل صحتين ميرسي شو ها؟ وما كان لي قلب فل الا لجرب التحلية عندهم ليك والبول شو حجمها كبير؟ هيدا ايطاليان ايس كريم لايك بيج بالز؟ These bloggers are so like obnoxious. I'm not like Zinger. She seems kind of she seems kind of normal, you know, compared to others. You know, she's fine. She's as al minna, yeah. She's not. I'm not like I'm the famous. That's why she seems like a nice lady. It once fame hits her, it sees Saeed, or or once a drunk video of her leaks. Hi, I'm Chef Hadi. We're going to do the fried chicken. Come on, let's go. Fried chicken, fried chicken. He's so cute. He's so cute. Fried chicken, fried chicken, coleslaw. وأكيد أكيد الصوص الكوكتيل. أوه. 
لوك صحتين هو كيف بيكل على شهينه هو بس انه سايدا شو بده يوصلنا على سايدا تبعه اتس تو فار فروم اس الكول هذا شبع لوك صحتين يا يا شيف هادي ايميل فرايد تشيكن خلطه جديده بتعجبوا انت اللي بتعجبوا يوم دقنا الفرايد تشيكن كانت كثير طيبه لازم تجربوا حش الطعم فرايد تشيكن ما كان حرام يو اف يو وانت اف يو وانت اف يو وانت ليل هادي تو ليف از لونج از يو كان You gotta start feeding him some salads. <laughs> the the new chicken Caesar salad grilled. Keep the show down. Next topic. Who wants to handle the next topic? Elijah. The worst. Uh, we're talking about the shittiest, the shittiest uh, personal private. trainer. The personal. Yeah, the per- personal trainer is from Musa. So when I was basically he DM'd this girl, who he literally fat shamed the shit out of her. Who maybe I refer. He goes to LAU. Who she posted it on Twitter. Who I read my house. So we're gonna look at them. <coughs> Saha. Thanks. So, Esma here, this is Nuna. And what she tweeted about was, I'm not going to even hide his name. What the fuck is this? Regardless, the dude doesn't even know me and my account is private. Where did he find the audacity to send this message? For literally Allah, hello, I'm a personal trainer and I saw that you are fat. Wuhatala obese and fat is not enough. And wanted to see if you wanted to book PT sessions with me to reach your body goals. La ansaraha, you need it. What the fuck? Not saying that uh, to get paid or anything. I meant, uh, I mean it. Sure. I mean it. You need serious help. He's a nice guy. He's just wanting to help. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want to get paid. He's like, yeah, I need I don't it. Know. You need serious help. What a bitch, man. He's a nice guy. Are we talking about the girl? Why are you calling oh, wait, the girl what a, a bitch? bitch. <laughs> 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 okay, so then. Okay, it gets worse. So he doesn't have Twitter tweets, I guess. So I read it because he talked about it. So I read Allah. Look, Peppa Pig. What about the Klebik? You can answer instead of crying. And I'm guessing people DM them and shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you make a lot of money. You can just go to the gym, you fat pig, and eat healthy. Oh, she could be having a palm massage. Like, what the fuck? Who's this guy? I have no uh, idea. And I recommend you work on your self-esteem because it's too high for someone like you. Okay, Peppa? Oh, she enter your self-esteem and take Akhta. This really pissed me off so badly. Who's Peppa Pig, Aslan? Peppa Pig. True Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Cushion. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck that what? is. What? Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. It's too new for you. Uh, you guys are that yeah. old, bro. I'm like, I'm like, Chantal Goya, bro. Where? I'm not sure if you're a friend or a friend. No. Oh, okay. What the fuck? You're too old? Bro. I am old. Okay, Papa. So, uh, this is the guy's profile. Uh, Musa Farhad. Let's take a nice zoom in. Huh? Mm-hmm. Let's make sure everybody can get a nice, good look at this guy. Take him, Shaklo Andrew Tate, obsessed yeah, yeah. idiot. I, I, put a, I put a poll on Instagram. Like, who do you guys think this guy's idol is? Andrew <laughs> Tate or someone normal? Most people voted, hey, though. So, I'm not going to give him DMs for fun. Some people were sending really cringy DMs. Like, people were sharing these on Twitter and getting a lot of likes. Like, someone sent him, hello, I'm an artificial intelligence engineering, and I saw that you have low IQ issues, stupidity. And so if you wanted to book some sessions in order to develop your brain cells, the answer is <laughs> <laughs> you need it. <laughs> to be honest, I found it. I found it so lame. I found it so I lame and cringe. Like, hello, I'm a veterinarian. But they all, like, they all use the format that he used. I know it's <laughs> funny. It's cute, but it's kind of cringe. And I was a little bit more direct. I just straight up told him, you're such an idiot. Like, Lol. Yeah. Good luck ever getting another client again. Dipshit. Anjad, dipshit. I like, I love the word dipshit. Anjad, well, you should take like... Uh, Marshall, kill me action and kick this guy out of the university. But eventually, uh, he got he deactivated his Instagram. La, I think he got hacked. Like, it's my username. So I'm so glad. Ha ha ha. Maybe he changed. My wife. Either he deactivated or uh, Instagram took down his profile. I don't really know. What the Regardless, fuck happened. Regardless, But no, yeah, he got he got a lot of her, which he deserves. Yeah, come in now. There's this trend with all these douchey ass. Uh, PT PTs and then wellness coach Muhammad the dietitian who is not as bad as, as others but some Andrew Tate who fat shaming people trying to get them to come in not as bad as this guy this guy's in a league of his own mm. so there's just this trend of like I don't know douchebags who trying to be asked like okay bro being fit is cool good for you that you're fit doesn't make you better than anyone who doesn't give you the right to go just shit on people uh-huh. if they're a little by the way the person who he accused of being obese this is Nuna First of all, even if she were obese, even if she weighed Malachi, 500 pounds, yeah, yeah. Second, like that's not how you talk to someone. But she's not even near overweight. Like she's not even near nothing, chubby. Nothing, nothing. Mashi, and she just she looks. Like she's a normal, absolutely normal person. Even if she were overweight, does not excuse any of that. So it's like, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? It's just so weird. But so at least Akal Khara, I just hope that like. And it could be very easy for him. He just needs to change. Yeah, I mean, a new Instagram profile. No one will know that it was him. Yeah, he could. 
he could clear, he could find a way to get to s weasel his way back into the world of personal training. But I really want people to remember this guy's fucking face. What's his name again? Musa. Uh, Musa Farhat. Farhat. Musa Farhat. He was born in 1997. 97. Okay, Musa Farhat. This guy is a piece of certified piece of shit, Mish certified personal trainer. Just to happen. Who is naked, bro? Naked and jet gyms. Who is hella bad? Naked. Keep us on TikTok. So it's so toxic. More a whole Gen Z. Hella. Gyms are that shit. I'm not saying. سات من وقت برو بنتك اختون لحيت ما يكبر اسا ما هو بسيت لك جيم جوي تاسيدس شو رجع صار فيه سيجوي شو هال سيجوي بس ايه ات از تايم فور ذا جوي تاسيدس فولو اب فوكس انا باي ذا واي ذس فولو اب يعني بس دي سم اوف ذا بليم فولز از غانا فول اون اون ناديم ناديم يو ديد سمثينغ ذات اي ام نوت اسكينغ يو تو دو ما بدي حدا يعمل اللي انت عم تعمله حدا ثاني كمان اي كولد ات اكزاجريتد سو ليتس يو جايز ريمبر وات هابند Uh, <laughs> so you guys remember what happened last uh, the last couple of weeks two weeks ago we shared joy's leaked drunk video we talked about it we said very nice things about it joy got upset that we that we showed the video that we used it in a teaser even though they've been deleted he keeps talking as if they've not been deleted they've been deleted as soon as you told me you weren't unhappy with it Mahita, the same day habib not joy So you got upset when we talked about it last week, etc., etc. And I thought it was done. I said, I've done my piece. I, I, I unfollowed him as well on Instagram. The mute is no, no more. I straight up unfollowed. And I, I've moved on. I'm not thinking hey, about The book this. was closed. The book was closed. But you wrote a book in a book. But you wrote a book in a book. Yo, yo. We're on WhatsApp. He's like, I'm mad at Joy Tassidis. I'm like, what's going on? He sends me screenshots. So let's look at those screenshots, shall we? So Joy, on TikTok, this week, this past week, like a week after my asab alayye over the, the video, Nazal hey al post on TikTok. We're going to mute it because there's uh, copyrighted music in the back. But you know, it's just... Katie, this uh, caption, you got nothing to be embarrassed about. We're all humans. If someone is judging you, they are still at war with themselves and that's personal. So keep healing and growing. And he's just playing like 10 seconds of his drunk video. Uh, you know, uh, so that was basically it. So he's just, again, he's embracing it. He's posting it everywhere now. Someone in the comments, I guess, must have told him. So Maria, Maria said, Anthony Sargon said it first, just saying. Thank you, Maria. But again, you don't need to defend me. I appreciate you, though. She says, Anthony Sargon said it first, just saying. Joy responds, Yeah, while using my video to share it again as a teaser to get more views on his podcast with a clown face. So calling me a clown. You calling me a clown, boy? You calling me a clown? The clown face. So then Maria says, Be the bigger person. Maria's being, she's being the bigger person here. She's being mature, even though he's. His young 25 year old ass is being immature. He's like, yeah, while using my video. Anyways. Do you have that joy, Bamre? Yeah, bro. What? I know he looks older. He looks 13. He looks 33, too. 35. Yeah. 55. His hairline looks like he's 40 as well. You know what I'm saying? Joy, I think that he's in partnership with Zara Ashar, by the way. I'm not going to say that Joy is You did this to yourself, boy. You, did, you had a friend in me. You had, you a, had friend a friend in, in me. me. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, it's about to get hot. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Then, before Nadim did that for some reason, he says, literally did not. When Nadim fit, but replies, my wife, who, who asked him to be there, my wife, not Nadim. <laughs> literally did not say one bad thing, by the way, and you're using it now to promote your self joy. Meanwhile, other pages are using it in a bad and silly context. Think twice and start acknowledging the bad from the good joy. Why do you keep calling him by his name? <laughs> It's either you're mad about the video and you remove it from everywhere, or you keep it. Accept the consequences. Expect, expect, expect the consequences and accept them. Why don't you go talk about all the other pages and people who put the video in a bad context? Like it's so cringe. <laughs> yeah, you're very. You're, you took it very personally. I heard it, my bro. I know. So, so hey, Joy, he's being hypocrite, bro. So no, Honey Joy, so Hone Joy responds, he's like, "Are you his lawyer or what? I'm not <laughs> even talking about him. Why are you bringing up his subject anyway?" With a smiley face. Then he says, "There is no good. He just used my video to get extra views. Why do you expect me to be thankful for him, lol?" With, hey, three, about the emojis. with three L's. <laughs> Someone else did this again, guys. Leave him alone. 
Uh, this guy, uh, Leo, Leo Ivanov, big fan of the show. Leo, I, I think I need to respond to like 30 of your DMs. I'm sorry, bro. I'm behind on. I've, I've run into Kilma when I used to still live in Jaite. Every time I used to go for a walk, I would run into Leo. Muffy, every. Even in the same day, sometimes I'd run into him like three <laughs> times. Maybe he was stalking me. I don't know. Leo bat DM la Joy. Allo, Liza, I'll tell you, I'll Antoon, ya Joy, ma halwe minnak, wul sabi kin am bidefi annak. Joy says, mean Antoon. <laughs> he says Anthony Sargon. Joy says lol. Then uh, Leo says la bas anjad jad bin la bas anjad bin bin kill who will wahid li defa annak al baqwe killun ta aduk wut manyako al video. I guess Joy didn't respond there. Again, guys, do not harass Joy. Leave him alone. He, no one gives a fuck. And it's like he, 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 we've all moved on from this. So anyways, and I just wanted to take a second. Oh, Kamena, sorry, on, on his TikTok, Kamena, uh, like Ryan wrote, it was actually an adorable video, by the way, nothing to be embarrassed about. Joy responds, you're exactly the type of non-judgmental people I want on my page. I'm going to the bro. Anyways, he's like, 100, be yourself and don't worry about others, Joy. puts hearts. Who we're going to talk about in a second. Uchi, because I have a story about Ranta Cedis that I want to share. The story before, هو ما نزعج من شو قلناه نزعج انه بيوز ذس فيديو بدون ما نسأله okay. من الاخر Ever since this drama happened with Joy <laughs> people have been reaching out to me and uh, sending me stories uh, they're like hey by the way I've met Joy who is maybe not that cool of a person oh, I've, I, once I saw him doing this once I saw him doing that this is how much he charges for his Heida I'm not here to نفتح Joy or anything and I want to move on from this بس and I'm here to defend Ron Tassidis, Joy's brother. Because <laughs> I heard, a st Ron seems like a sweet man to me. In all these videos, see him in the video. He doesn't let him open his mouth. He keeps interrupting his brother. Bonjour, bonjour. I'm super excited today because we're going to go to Sushi Circle, Ash Khafiye. And uh, it's just to be our favorite sushi restaurant. It's a long time for me, but honestly, I'm super excited because the food was very good for them. Uh, now they have yeah, an open okay. sushi halal okay. conveyor for a very affordable price. Yeah, so, uh, yalla, we'll let you know more details. But no sal. So, Matu, I don't know. He's like, yeah, hey, it's very good. Anyway, his brother doesn't let him talk. Yalla. Yeah, Here's another video of uh, Joy and Ron. Bonjour, bonjour. Yom, I want to vacance to Ron. And we plan to wake up early to make a little dinner, but as usual, it's a fail. We didn't know. So, it's a bit of a punch now. Halal set up the dessert. Yani Ron is a prop in his video. He's a set dressing. So Ron, we're doing this with Ron, but Ron, if Ron tries to talk, beautiful. So someone told, told me, someone I trust, okay, very trustworthy person, told me that once they were walking in Abisay Ashrafiye, we saw Joy Tassidi is going to share his shit, going to share his shit with Ron, going to be bad, going to be in the ascensor, Ron is going to be in the ascensor, and Joy is going to be going to be in the ascensor. The person didn't know what they were fighting about. Said, Come on, you're a Come on, you're a Ron, haram, I'm going to be in the ground. Joy, it's time to fucking respect your brother. Ron Tassidis, bro. Okay, the guy who fucking drove your drunk ass. He came to take you. Let's watch that drunk ass video again to remember what your brother does for you on. And I'm sure you have an alcohol problem. You strike me as someone who drinks a lot, boy. So I'm guessing your brother picks you up all the time. This is how you're going to treat him. You're going to yell at Ron Tassidis? You're going to yell at your brother in public? Bahad Lohik at Sherishho? He's probably older than you, more successful than you. And I'm here to defend Ron, Joy and Ansitak. Justice for Ron Tassidis. Let's see. Truthful. Truthful. My close friends, I arrived at home super drunk. I was out drinking. I was out drinking. I'm super drunk. So now he. Super. See, now it was cute before. Two weeks ago, this was cute. Now I'm seeing an alcoholic. Honestly, you're slurring your words. You're scaring me, Joy. You're scaring me. Yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> yeah, you know this can lead to physical harassment. <laughs> if you drink a lot, it's a problem. Anyways, Ron He came to the rescue. He came. He drove your car. He's looking down at the floor. He's driving us to Zata Ruzet. And I don't trust his driving skills at all. Kamena, you don't trust the driving <laughs> skills? Yeah, and he's doing you a fucking favor. He was probably sleeping. He has to leave the house. He has to come drive you. Your drunk ass. Because all you do is fucking eat and stuff your fucking face. And then you fucking criticize his driving. You little ungrateful 
Is that too much? <laughs> 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 then you wonder, and why does everyone hate us? Why don't <laughs> you better treat your brother right. <laughs> ما تبهد البرو عم تلعب الارض رون كان عم تلعب لك على شوي زين لايك بيرلي هيك هيك ذاتس فاكت اب برو اني ويز ذاتس ذاتس ذا اند اوف ذا جوي تو سي دي ساغا دونت هراس ما راح احكي ابدا ولا ما تحكي ما ترد عليه اوكي كيب شيرنج ذا فيديو اي جيس يعني هو حلب اكثر منا هلا يعني ما راح احكيك ورون ما وقت تبعت لي مسجز تمحيهم ها اه بعد رون بعت لك مسجز شوفهم بس تبعت لي مسج تمحيهم ليك اسمع دي نيو ذات وي وي بروبلي كنا قريناهم للمسجز بس رون انا ام اون يور سايد اف يو ونت تيل مي ذا تروث اباوت جوي انا انا معك خيي وشو بدك فيه؟ هيز يوزنج يو از ا بروب ان هيز فيديوز دونت فاكينغ سبيند تايم وذ ام دو جو دو يور دنتست ثينغ يور غونا بي سكسسفول دونت ليت يور براذر يوز يو بيكوز هيز يوزنج يو اند هيز ابيوزنج يو نحن معك يا رون يو سيم لايك ا سويت جاي اند اف يور براذر از نوت ا سويت جاي يو دونت نيد تو جو داون افتح يور اون فود فلوجينج عن جد يو يو بي لاو تو اكشولي سي سمثينغ يو بي لاو تو سبيك بلا ما يشرش حق الدنيا ستارتنج ا سيبلينغ لا انا ام نوت ستارتنج اني فاميلي فيور بس انه بس انه يعني وان العالم ببيروت عم تحكي وبيعرفوا انه جوي بيبهدل خيي وبلابسها اشرافيه ما بدك يعني يو كان رون يو دونت وونت ذات جوين اراوند ولا دي يا جوي حيقول انه كيف انت خبرت هيك خبريه عن يور بودكاست بس ما انت بهدلته انا مول قدام كل العالم so. ايه مين شرشح رون تسيديز بالمول قدام العالم كله انتو اني ويز افتر ذس لوفلي فولو اب ويتش از دونت دونت نوت غير ميك اس اني نوت غير ميك اس اني انيميز از تايم تو تيست زي كولا يا اي ثينك ذيف غان ا ليتل وورم سينس يو نو بين سيتينغ هير فور 5 اورز انا فلوش برو اخي على الاقل اتفضل ما ما في دايت نور عم بتموت ما في دايت انا 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 I started drinking diet pepsi now because ever since my boxing I've taken it طب ما لي شباب شباب انا سايد سباركلينج ووتر I'm taking my transformation seriously I, this isn't right to do without some zulfi in the back so yeah. hey the zulfi in the background يا خي لما تحكي عن فروج الغاز cheers بده يكون من عند الاتش اف سي لك بأسعار خيالية توم كبيس صوص حار ب 900000 فروج ونص 70000 فروج 900000 اه لا ذا خفيف ابدا نوت باد اتس نوت ذات باد نو اتس نوت اتس لايك يا لايتر اون فليفر اتس لايك سلايتلي واتر داون ليك انا كثير بحب اتس وات اي لايك It tastes a little bit more like the hoodie. Should we get a smoke? The 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 the. I see. Yeah, it tastes like. Should we get a smoke? Tasted like uh, Aribo, basically. I don't know if it tastes like. Reminds me of that. I see cold. I'm not remembering. Like I'm with Pepsi and Cola. I like the acidity. I'm not going to try it. It's not bad. It's not a bad drink. I'm surprised. I thought it would taste much shittier. Well, like it's a good deal. Yeah. We're not going to try it. 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 We're not going to صرت اقول لك مليون مرة انه الاتش اف سي افضل خيار اليوم بالاتش اف سي فروج ونص بروستيت على ذوق ذواق مع سيرفيس الكامل بسعر اخر فيديو رح لك اياه فرجيه فرجيه ليك منها فروج ونص بروستيت ليك اللون الذهب انت ليك 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 الذهب فروج ونص بروستيت مع سيرفيس كامل والفرايز كل هودي بس ما في زي كولا بتعرف بقد ايه I tried to find the million or meat al. يعني شيء 11 دولار. ليك منا فروج ونص. Hello, that's a lot of chicken for 11 bucks. ليك لون الذهب. That's a lot of chicken. منشني أبو الذهب. قل له الذهب بلا تشفسي. بدك لقمة طيبة. يعني بلا تشفسي ويلا روح. اشتاني له لزول في. The comments عم بيد. كنا عم بيطلبوا زول في for a while. So I hope you're happy. Whoever you got him. He became like an iconic character. He is an icon. You got him, and we got some Zico. Look, type. And I give this a seven. Seven out of ten. No, I'm a four. Four. Guess what? Tell him Jaja, but mood. The video is still on Zulfi.
<laughs> on vient aussi rien que le dire, je dois. Rest in peace, chickens. Ok, guys, moving on. Uh, Anna, we have this really stupid controversy involving Shada ou Cynthia Basbous ou ma bah une cita d'acte chose comme Rudy Hamaway. Rudy, Rudy Hamaway. Uh, but before we get, uh, Shad is working on his jaw, folks. Shad is going to look like a Chad uh, soon. Chad, uh, you get it? Check it out. Chad. Like we have a lot of training, we have a lot of training to make the jaw line. All we have to do is to make the jaw line. Oh, my God. Shad. Shad is doing it. Every time I see him bald, freshly bald, I see him bald. بيقرر شعره then he lets it grow then بيجا بيقرر شاد قرر أو أر أنا عم بنقص كل ما أشوفه كيك خل it takes a while to نتعود عليك to have I don't want to be mean but your head is the roundest head shape of حياتي literally beach ball هون بصير أكبر so that أو دلك قرر شعرك then نتعود عليك هيك تبطل إنقص كل ما أشوفه you know embrace it Andrew Tate top G هيدا basically أنا تويت Andrew Tate طبعا ليش ده هو أنا أنا I should go bold But he shaved, no, it's not the first time. He shaved from the past few years. Okay, so Cynthia Basbou's situation, I don't give a fuck about this whole topic. I don't know what the fuck happened. I just noticed that Oshada made the Cynthia Basbou's video and I found it cringe. I don't understand what it's about, who it's about. Cynthia Basbou's, I hear, is like a fucking 12-year-old girl. Yeah, no, but this sounds so fucking stupid. But I just want to do all of this to get to Shada. Shul Wada. Okay, so basically last week, I was like a controversy on TikTok when I know Rudy Hamawe He did a job like a gimmick for Cynthia And he came back Okay From the time he came back, Cynthia was just a little bit more He had a quote that she says, a line One of her lines Okay What do you think I'm going to say to you, my dear? I'm going to tell you Or I'm going to tell you Or I'm going to tell you أو أقول لك أو أقول لك ليش عم تعيد الحكي اللي اللي أنا حكيته من ألف سنة يعني ما فهمت بدك ترجع الهيت علي ونص الكومنت اللي هيت علي فانتبه على حالك عمل معروف هذا هو الفيديو So يعني by saying what he said he's reopening up an old controversy صح صح he's repeating what she said من زمان which which was a controversy she قالته Okay so هلا he brought it back to life So she stitched it قالت له Okay, what happened next? من بعد ما ردت عليه سينتيا رودي رجع رد على سينتيا كيف بأنه عمل فيديو عن ثمانية كمان على سينتيا سينتيا بسبوس سينتيا بسبوس سينتيا بسبوس ما هيدا تاعي هذا فين نرد تاعي يا هذا نرد تاعي أربة أربة شباب وافو 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 this is garbage I don't give a fuck about these people okay next what's after okay مهم ليز سي من بعد هيدا الفيديو ده هون بلو اب شادا شادا شو يعمل؟ شادا مثل العادة يعني نزع كيف؟ سينتيا بسبوس سينتيا بسبوس سينتيا بسبوس ولي تاعي قربي اشربي قهوة مع شارلوتا انت ما خصك فيي انا شو بعمل وانت ما دخلك فيي انا شو بقرر نزل على الاكونت تبعي على اساس انت هالجملة اخذتيها من Jibran Khalil Jibran Ya Allah Ya Rabbi So this is Shad I guess trying to like He's trying to fit the trend Like on Jad it blew up Like all of us We don't have anyone to talk about it So Shad wants to know He gets to get the attention to the world Then he got into Play his apology What happened then? Okay From the other The world is going to be Shad That he doesn't want to But he just wants to He just wants to steal the Spotlight So he said That he came to Shad And he came to Shad And he came to Shad بدي اوضح عن فيديو سنتيا بسبوس اللي نزلته اول شيء الدراما مش انا عاملها هيدي هو رودي حموي على الان معه وانا بس عملته بداعي المزح والضحك بس للاسف انه صايره على تيك توك بس اكثر شيء القصص اللي فيها هيك دراما وسخافه عم تروح فايرل والقصص بالمقابل المفيده والسقفي خلص خلص وقف 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 Uh, guys, thank you for joining us on this weird episode. Sorry, this was a, this was a strange one. We had a lot of topics that we we shouldn't because they were boring or just fucking shitty. Uh, just a reminder that next week, folks, on Monday, April twenty fourth at eight o'clock Lebanon time, I'm doing my Zoom call with all patrons. So uh, patrons, do not forget all levels. Okay, and if you want to join our Patreon before the call, you have just a few days to do so. Uh, let me thank our brand new patrons. Um, Marianne, Marianne S, Mustafa Kalo, Miss Blacksmith, Julien Malouf, Saumon Fumé, Sherb Lezreb, and let me thank some other patrons like Heather Jabber, Sarah M, Karim Ayad, Ahmad M, uh, superhero patrons, uh, 
like Rhea D, Joey To, Adria, and Anne are got your patrons, Jessica and Rifat Faki, and Burgery. If you'd like to support the channel, you'd like to support the show, consider joining our Patreon and uh, choose a tier that's right for you. And as usual, folks, do not.